two biggest cities, Sydney and Melbourne, are now in the grip of Delta. Back in the Just year 2020, ago, in the heart of the COVID-19 pandemic, Melbourne City endured over 200 plus days in lockdown, with incredibly strict rules and curfews in place. Lock Victoria down from 11:59 p.m. tonight. The longest of all cities in the world to be confined to a small living space and at times only allowed to travel five kilometers from our home to exercise and to shop for food in the hope of stopping the spread of coronavirus here in Australia. It's quite clear that this will now be our way of life for months to come. Eventually, it worked. After getting case numbers down to zero in Melbourne, curfews and lockdowns ended and we were finally allowed to travel within our state again. And like many people stuck in that extreme happiness stealing lockdown, I was craving an adventure. And there was one place in Victoria I had been dying to see, the Grampians. So I decided to round up a crew of adventurous travellers who were down for anything. Hey Emma, do you want to go on a trip to the Grampians this weekend? Grampians? Yes, yeah, sweet. How many of us are going? I'm looking for us. Oh, awesome. Um, there's going to be four of us and for two nights. Cool. I'll book us a cute little place. Okay, sweet. Oh, I got another call. Hang on a sec. Hey, Jamie boy, what's going on? Do you want to go to the Grampians this weekend? Are you kidding me? I was literally going to call you today and ask you if you wanted to go. Really? <laughs> no way! Oh, let's do it then. Who else do you reckon we could get to come down? Um, it's you, me and Emma so far. We just need one more person. Yeah, we need someone that's good at navigating the Aussie bushland. Like, someone with a good beard. Uh, oh, I know just the guy. I'll call you back. New hinge profile pick coming right up. Benny, how are you, mate? Hey, Brian, how you going, man? Hey, uh, do you want to go to the Grampians this weekend? Uh, yep. I'm so down. Heck yes. This is going to be awesome. Uh, oh, Brian, uh, how quickly can you grow a beard? Oh, usually about three hours. Three hours, really? Wow. Uh, okay, cool. Um, I'll add you to the group chat. Yeah, sounds good, bro. All right, catch ya. See you, buddy. Well, that was freaking easy. And so, the four of us left our towns and set off on our first adventure in almost a year to finally experience our beautiful Australian landscapes once again. A nature-filled world that had almost become erased from our minds as the pandemic occupied the space that held these blissful memories. And let me tell you, it was a damn good feeling to be back out exploring again. Hey everybody, and welcome to my first vlog filmed in 2020. I mean, this is just gonna be a bit of fun for us. We haven't been able to go exploring for over 200 plus days now because of the lockdown and coronavirus. We're pretty good, we've got no cases now, so we can finally get out and what better way than to come down to a place like this. This is what we call like pure Australia bushland and environment. Check this out. Sometimes if you want to get to the coolest places, you got to go through the harshest bush. I don't know how we did it, but we managed to find a secret swimming hole all to ourselves without any other soul in sight. It was at least 27 degrees Celsius today, so it was a perfect way to cool off and relax in the Australian bushland. And after 200 plus days in isolation, there was oh, no yeah. better way to spend our COVID free time, while it lasted anyways. What do you reckon this spot so far, Brian? This is like one of the best watering holes of 2020. And we're so lucky to have all this here. Quick, get it. Oh no! The seclusion of our little swimming hole made for an incredible memory for all of us to keep. After soaking up all that we could, we ventured on to see one of my favourite places in Victoria. Just a bunch of hungry emus. If you're looking to see some Australian animals and wildlife, the Grampians is where you'll find it. It's home to hundreds of incredible animals, kangaroos, wallabies, echidnas, kookaburras, snakes, and many different species of lizards. This place belonged to a beautiful waterfall, a waterfall that I hadn't seen in many years. As I grew up and changed over those years, the fall seemed as though it hadn't aged a day. Ready to launch into another dimension. Yeah, send it.
Fucking hell. I didn't know the blades were going to turn up. <laughs> Once again, we soaked up the nature and refreshed our appreciation for gorgeous places like this to even exist. Next, we were on our way to an incredible viewpoint for sunset. It had been such a long while since we'd seen a view like this. And with the incredible golden sun to light it all up, it was one of many perfect moments we would experience on this adventure. Got it? Got it. <laughs> That's confidence. Brian Hines approved. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, wow, that's cool. The next day, we prepared for a big hike to a view that overlooked the entire valley. All right, so it's day two in the Grampians. Um, another, another amazing day with great weather. Whoa. Oh my God, I thought that was going to attack me. Hey, the little oh, buddy. A little dinosaur just came out of the rocks and tried to jump so on us. So apparently dinosaurs aren't extinct. <laughs> Look at that. It's a massive lizard. So right now we're hiking one of the most famous hikes in Victoria. It's the Pinnacle Hike in the Grampians. We are in a place called the Grand Canyon right now and it's one of the most beautiful areas on the Pinnacle. So you've probably noticed I've been using a 360 camera for a lot during this vlog. I've been using the One X2 from Insta360 to get a different perspective and a more fun perspective when vlogging. This was filmed without the firmware update as well so if the sound quality isn't very good that's a big reason why. I've been having a ton of fun with this camera and if this is something you think you would use, i put a link to it in the description below. So here in Australia we have seven of the ten most deadliest snakes in the world. Not by any particular order but the brown snake, black snake, red belly black snake, we've got the taipan, I think the copperhead, uh, we have the death adder and there's one more that I'm missing but these snakes are venomous. So if they bite you, you maybe it'll kill you, I don't know. Um, some people have been pretty lucky. There hasn't been many snake deaths here in Australia, so it's pretty rare. Um, but you always gotta be careful not to step on one because that's no fun at all. This hike was tough, and the weather only seemed to be getting warmer as we climbed. But the further we hiked, the more the landscape revealed its hidden secrets and beautiful sandstone formations. It goes a little deeper. Yeah. So Jamie's wearing odd socks, and we're just giving him a little shit for odd, it. I'm not wearing odd socks, one's just inside out. I'd just say, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Brian? Don't let the haters get to you. Yeah, don't let the haters get to you. Don't Those who mind don't matter. And those who matter, matter don't mind. Just don't want to get teased. Oh, oh Ben, check it up ahead. Oh. Well, um, what do you call that? Moss trickle. A trinkle. Moss trickle. We, we, can, we trickle. could totally take a shower in that. The water trickling down from the moss was a huge blessing and gave us some much needed solace from the blistering heat. Oh. How is it? Oh. <laughs> oh. That's refreshing. We were almost at the top too, but first we had to walk through a long crevice of sandstone rocks created by nature millions of years ago. We're at the part of the pinnacle called Silent Street. So it's got two canyon walls on either side, really jagged looking rock edges. It looks incredible. Yeah. So cool. You get thirsty here, 360. Let's uh, see what it looks like. This is pretty cool. The 360 will give this a crazy perspective because you can see pretty much everything with it. And um, it's always fun to edit in post and get like any angle you want. So. See how this turns out. Oh, I'm not gonna fit. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh shit. Uh, let's work something out here. Oh. Oh. What y'all doing down there? <laughs> We're on this big hike. We're almost at the top. I'm tired. Our walk to the pinnacle we've probably taken about two hours because we've been stopping to film a lot of cool things but we've just made it to the pinnacle itself the top and 
you can probably see the view's getting pretty good. And look at that. Dirty, what have you been doing? Covered in mud. It was day three, our final day here in the Grampians. Whilst we were having breakfast, we were greeted by some hungry sulfur crested cockatoos, an iconic Australian bird, which for some may be a nuisance, but for us it was such an enjoyable experience just watching them and sharing our breakfast with them. Once we were all packed and ready, we set off to climb another gorgeous mountain, Hollow Mountain. Alright ladies and gentlemen, right in front of me, we have a classic Australian animal here, the shingleback lizard. I'm pretty sure its tail is designed to also look like another head, so if any animals attack it, they'll go for the tail and not his head. Um, not really sure how that helps him out though, because that would still hurt. <laughs> he's just getting really defensive with me right now because he's kind of closed in. Beautiful lizard, look at him. Move back from him a bit. I, mean, I don't want him to get hit by a car or something. He has no idea I'm saving him right now. So, right? No, yeah. Okay, mate. Just gonna put him in the bushes. He's not happy. Not a happy lizard. He was not very happy about that, but at least he's safe. The shingleback lizard was now a lot safer having been moved away from the road. But it wasn't only lizards we had to look out for. Some of the locations we walked through have been occupied and painted on by the indigenous thousands of years ago, telling great stories and beliefs from their past lives for us to see and interpret. This was our hardest climb so far, and it was also the hottest day so far. On the way up, I heard something moving in the bushes next to me and I was curious at what it was. Was it a snake? Was it an echidna? I used the 360 camera on a pole to safely find out. It turns out it was another big shingleback lizard. Big shingleback. This hike was bursting with wildlife and as we performed some real life rock climbing to get higher, it was apparent from the views that were revealing themselves all around us that the landscapes of Australia were proving to be more incredible than any of us knew. In the end, it turns out this adventure wasn't just about escaping the walls of our homes to feel free in the world again, but it became more of a journey that helped us to understand our world a little deeper than we did before, to further see how unique our country really was, and to respect all the small and unique things that gave meaning to the land we were walking on. And above all, I guess it was just great for all of us to get out and feel alive again.